Hey you guys, what's up? So today I have crab and cream cheese rangoon dip and I have some um, wonton chips and if I ran out of those, I have these. I'll just try one of these. Mm. But I've been getting so many requests on chips and dip and I love crab and cream cheese wontons and I've been seeing a dip go around for them. I made a simple one, but I'm really excited to try it. Um, today I'm going to be answering some of the assumption questions some of you asked in the previous video. I haven't picked out, not the previous video, but the one before that. Anyways, I haven't picked any assumption questions out, so I'm just going to kind of scroll through throughout just get started first i'm gonna start eating and then i'll answer some questions i used the crab from the can and it actually looked so good it was so expensive though i got a big can but my mom said that she's gonna use the rest for sandwiches so that's good but it was 24 dollars Mm. Oh my goodness, you guys. <gasps> oh my gosh, this is so good. The crab tastes honestly so fresh I tried to sit in a chair for this all and it cut off my face so I'm working with sitting on the ground and sitting on my knees but I think I just found a more comfy position, so that's good. I went and, ah, bought these wontons from a neighborhood Chinese um, restaurant. Look at that. This is so fun. Mmm. <laughs> And delicious. I got this recipe off Pinterest. Mm. If anybody's interested in having it, the recipe, let me know. Mmm. If you love crab rangoons, then you'd love this. Okay, I'm going to read the first assumption. <clears throat> okay, assumption. You hate cats. Which is funny. I think that's a funny assumption. But no, I definitely don't hate cats. Um, I love cats, actually. I grew up with cats my whole life. I'm going to open this fortune with you guys. The coat is mightier than the sword. And it doesn't even have numbers on the back. Hmm. I dip my crab and cream cheese wontons usually in sweet and sour, so I was like happy when I saw they gave me sweet and sour. Mmm. <laughs> but no, I've had cats my whole life. I love cats. I don't have one of my own. But someday when I get a house, I want a cat. You don't want more than one cat, though. 
for myself. Someone said, assumption you have tattoos. I do. I don't, they're all pretty small, but I have one on my wrist. It's an airplane because I like to travel. I have writing on my arm. I have my grandma's card stamped, like, in her handwriting on my back. I have a best friend tattoo on the back of my neck that says 2009 with my best friend. And I have like a super light California poppy on my side because I'm from California. But they're all super small so they're not extremely like noticeable. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mm. I'm breaking these in half because these are huge. I feel like you have to do wontons with this dip. just to get the full experience mm. This is so good, you guys. I haven't done a chips and dip mukbang in a very long time. Assumption, your favorite color is pink. No, my favorite color is, is purple. But I do like pinky like for my makeup i like pinky tones like on my lips and cheeks <laughs> but it's not my favorite color um assumption you are a singer no <laughs> I cannot sing for the life of me, but that's okay. I still like to sing, like, in the car and with friends, but I'm not good at it. Crab Rangoon dip, wow. Who would have ever thought this dip would solve all life problems? <laughs> it's so good. Okay. You work out or you smoke. Um, no, neither, but I have done both. Like, I do want to get into working out more, and I have. <laughs> um, but yeah. No, it's like they're both not a regular thing for me. You don't normally eat so aggressively and take such big bites and you usually twirl your noodles instead of shoveling them and slurping. Um, that is not 
that is not an accurate assumption either i this is how i eat <laughs> like i always take big bites and i've just always been like that Like my whole life I've been called like a messy eater and that I eat a lot and that I take two big bites. But no, that's just how that's just how I eat. <laughs> um Assumption, you were popular in high school but always was sweet to everyone regardless of their status. That is so true. I don't... I mean, I, I, I don't think I would be like, oh, I was like popular. But like I hung out. Like I did cheerleading. And I did all those things. Um, and I guess hung out with some of the people that were considered popular. But I hang out with anybody. And I never, like, saw, I don't see people as, like, a status. I know people, like, form in those, like, groups and stuff. But, yeah, no, I was friends with, like, everybody and nice to everybody in high school. I'm nice to everyone. I just like people. And I like, I like that people are different. And that's what I really like about people, like, everyone's so different and it's like fun to get to learn different things about different people i think that's one of the reasons i really like traveling because of food and just meeting new people like other travelers around the world i don't know it's just it's cool meeting new people i just like everybody <laughs> I'm getting full. <laughs> this has so much cream cheese in it, this dip. And it's good. <laughs> it's really good. Assumption, your cultural background is 25% Irish. Yes. I don't know if it's a little less than that or a little bit more than that, but yes, I am Irish. I would like to visit Ireland too. <laughs> Assumption, you love all kinds of food and you would try any kind of food including bugs. Yes, I love all kinds of food <laughs> that I've tried. There's still I think some genres I haven't tried which is wild but I do live in a town that's not like, I don't live in like a city or anything like that but yeah I love all kinds of food and uh, I probably I might try a bug, but, like, I would try it, maybe. <laughs> I would have to feel the moment, but I wouldn't just go, like, wanting to try a bug. Assumption, you have a good metabolism and don't gain weight no matter how much you eat. Um, no, that's not true. I don't, I mean, I guess I have a good metabolism, but I gain, I go through weight fluctuations a lot, like, within usually, like, not a whole bunch, but usually between, like, 5 to 20 pounds I fluctuate between. I go up that, and sometimes I go down, back up. I, I, I fluctuate a lot I'm not one of those people that that's why I don't do mukbangs all the time because my weight fluctuates so much that's why I just do them one once or twice a week and then I still eat like normal um but sometimes I try to be better like try to I don't know eat my veggies or proportion out my food more stuff like that I try. It's hard though. 
especially when you love food so much. Like, I eat something good every day. I have to go out and get something or make something really good every day because <laughs> I never want to waste a meal. I mean, I don't want to, like, I don't even know how to describe it. I always want to eat good. My boyfriend always makes fun of me for this because he can just eat, like, chicken and rice. Like, he loves food too, but he could eat chicken and rice for a straight week. And I'm like, no, I need to go get, like, pho. Or I need to go get, or I need to make, like, this new pasta recipe. And he's like, you can't have any average meal, Phoebe. Like, you just, you just have to eat, like, the highest class that you can. I'm like, I just love and appreciate food so much. I love, I love eating food. So, uh, someone said, I assume that you like reading. I assume that you prefer cookies over brownie. Or fro-yo over ice cream. I like reading when it is, um, not books. I would like to get into books, but I think high school honestly, like, drew me away from books. Which was a while ago now, but just, like, assigned readings and stuff wasn't fun. Like, assigned to read a certain book, then write about it. I'm not a fan of writing, so I think that drew me away from reading, but I really want to get into it and maybe like start a book that I think would be interesting. But I do like reading like articles and stuff like that and like I like reading other things, um, articles, blogs, I like reading stuff like that. Mmm. I'm full. <laughs> I'm gonna finish up this question. Though. Cookies over brownies? It depends the cookie. Like just a plain chocolate chip cookie, I would pick a brownie. But if it was a really good cookie, then then yeah, like some of crumbles. <laughs> Prefer Froyo over ice cream? No, I actually, I, I'm an ice cream girl. I love my ice cream. <laughs> eh, you can't beat ice cream. You guys, I am full. I ate a good amount of the dip. I'm gonna give the rest to my parents because I'm sure they'll love this. I'm at my parents' house today, by the way. I don't know if you guys could tell. But I was like, I just want my old, like, chip and dip mukbang set up. So I'm like, Mom, I'm coming over. <laughs> making a mukbang. But, um... Yeah, so, um, mm. so I will see you guys for a video very soon, and thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye, guys.